Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, Mikey Rocks 18 again, uh, back with another t-shirt review video for you guys. Uh, I, when I was in Portland, uh, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you saw I picked up the uh, Olympic 7s, the infrared Air Max 90s, a pair of just regular black and white Converse, but I also picked up some apparel stuff too that I wanted to show you guys. So um, while I was in Portland, uh, I stopped at the compound uh, in, you know, in Portland, uh, I think on 6th, yeah, on 6th Street, yeah. Um, so you want to check them out. Also, the upper playground, the upper playground for Portland is right across the street. So upper playground, if you live on the West Coast, you know upper playgrounds, LA, SF. There's also one in Berkeley, and in Portland. So uh, definitely check out upper playground. And there's also uh, supposedly one in Sac, right? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, someone told us there's one in Sacramento too. We're not sure about that yet. We haven't yeah. been to that one yet. But yeah. So um, uh, yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, I picked up some undefeated shirts from the compound. Definitely want to check out the compound. Uh, all kinds of, like, exclusive shoes. <laughs> uh, exclusive shoes there, sneakers. Um, more on the Nike sportswear side of shoes, more than, like, the SBs and the Jordans. They have, they don't really have that. They really more just have Dunks, Air Maxes. Uh, they do have some Kobe's, though. I have seen them have some Kobe's. Um, uh, just you know, shoes like that, so definitely check them out, they also have, like, a lot of good brands, like, you know, I was saying, Undefeated, Undercrown, uh, Play Clothes, Crooks and Castles, Stussy, Kid Robot, um, and I know I'm missing some brands, but brands like that, um, so, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the shirts, so the first shirt I got, Undefeated shirt, there's a little hang tag on there, a little Undefeated with the, with the mark, with the hash, the tally or hash, hash mark, I can't remember what the, 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 what is the it? strikes or whatever. Yeah, the the five strikes or something or I don't I can't remember, but yeah. So a win is a win. As you can see, the shirt's kind of faded because I wear it a lot. I really like this shirt. <laughs> and uh, then on the back, you have the cool little scale thingy going on there, and it says undefeated, abbreviated like how it always is. You know the undefeated, undefeated. Yeah. So <laughs> and then again, you have a little. Strike marks right there on the kind of wrist, or not, yeah, not wrist, but <laughs> uh, sorry, I saw my, my yeah, yeah. My wrist, but on the if you're a T Rex, sleeve, if you're a T Rex, it's gonna be on the wrist, it's on the wrist, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> there's that one, just nice classic black shirt. They also had this in black, but it wasn't in my size, and the whole shirt was black, and then all this was white, and that was in white, and then the words were so reverse of this shirt, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So that is the first shirt. Uh, second shirt, I just want to show you guys. Um, shout out to Yo Poly P for pretty much telling me what this shirt was, like what it was based off of, because I had no idea. I just picked it up because it was on sale. And uh, speaking of Yo Poly P, um, if you love Adidas, which I'm here in the Audi den of Adidas ambassador Yo Poly P, you need to be following him on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash Yo Poly P, all one word, all lowercase. Also, that's his YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash Yo Poly P, all one word, all lowercase. You need to be following him if you like Adidas. Not a you should, it's a you need to be. So, shout outs to him because Undefeated is following Paul on Twitter. So, Paul knows, you know, quite a bit about Undefeated. Adidas is also following Paul on Twitter. So, following him. They want to know what he's doing. He's buying Adidas. That's what he's doing. Every second of every day. We're moving on. So, uh,. Got this undefeated shirt with the strike marks and everything. And I could kind of tell it had to do something with France. Just because, you know, the French flag. But I didn't know exactly what it was. And then on the back, it kind of looked like a soccer jersey. And I figured I should have known what the heck it was because I love soccer and I play soccer. So I figured I should have known, but I didn't. So Paul said uh, these were based on the, the World Cup. These shirts were made, like, for the World Cup. And he's you said there was, like, other countries. Colors. Yeah, they did, them, they did them for all the... All yeah, the countries. You if you want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like all the countries. Well, not all of them. I think they did like, like, like a good... six or seven or something like yeah. that. But like just like the main countries. Yeah. But anyway, and like star <laughs> soccer countries. But yeah. yeah. So um, once again, the undefeated tag. <laughs> you know, medium strike marks, everything like that. So there's that, and then so yeah, so it's just the strike marks, just a real cool, chill kind of shirt. You know, pops. You know, and uh, I wear the shirt kind of a lot too, so you can kind of see that so um uh yeah so just got the strike marks there on the back says you know the abbreviated for undefeated again so <laughs> undefeated number five and then if you zoom in close you can see at the bottom it says every defeat is a victory in itself and then undefeated 2010 so it was for the 2010 world cup so <laughs> there you go so also on the the sleeve not the wrist 
<laughs> on the sleeve, you have the same uh, strike marks. So, uh, Undefeated, great brand. Uh, definitely recommend picking up some stuff from them. Uh, yeah, uh, they do a lot of collaborations with pretty much everyone. So you're bound to find them if you know you're collecting sneakers. You're bound to find them in one of your the brands you collect or something. So they do. I think they have a shoe coming out with Puma soon. Don't they, they already had the shoe coming out with Puma. Coming it out, was yeah. uh, the Gumball Three Thousand one. The Gumball Three Thousand Puma. Yeah. And yeah. Then, it uh, was it was undefeated by Gumball Three Thousand by Puma. There you go. And they have the Nike Dunks with the strike marks on the heel, I believe, on the kind of the heel. And then. Um, uh, they had they had some undefeated Adidas too, yeah. Yeah, did yeah. they did a couple yeah. collabs with Adidas. So, so there you go. So undefeated, great brand. Check them out. Uh, so really dope. I really like them. Uh, with that said, that about does it for this t-shirt video. Um, look forward to more videos for stuff I'm gonna be selling at Dunk Exchange in uh, SF at Club Envy. It's gonna be from one to five um, on September 25th. I believe that's a Saturday. So, uh, check out me and Polly P over there, you know, find us, you know, might end up in a video or something. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, just check us out there, buy our kicks. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, that about does it for this video. Like I said, you need to be following Paul on Twitter, twitter.com slash yopollyp, and his YouTube is yopollyp as well, all one word, all lowercase. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Twitter is, uh, MikeyRocks18, uh, R-O-X spelled, or rocks spelled R-O-X, and then the one eight. Uh, and my YouTube's pretty much the same thing, just with the, the in front of it, because someone took my Qbox 18. Couldn't believe that. But yeah. Alright, so, uh, I guess until the next video, I will see you guys later. So, peace.